Have you ever had a day where you have new goals? You get a new car, you just leave. You don't know exactly where you're going, but you just go. Today is Sunday. It's a beautiful day. Sunny, bright, warm. Good day to have fun. So we're gonna go out there and see what the world has for us. I think every day is a blessing. Seeing the light is a blessing. Hearing people talk is a blessing. When you think about how many people die every single day, especially at this very difficult time of our lives. So we got to celebrate every single time we have an opportunity to do so. Everything you acquire in life, it's about making you happy. You want more money in your job, more money in your business, more possibility, higher position. Why? Because you want money. Why do you want money? You want money because you believe by having more money, you will be happier by buying things that you need, things that you couldn't afford in the past, by traveling where you've never been in the past. So the bottom of it is happiness. Everybody search for happiness. And happiness, we call it different ways. Some people call it better job. Some people call it better opportunities. Some people call it traveling to a better place. It's all happiness we look for. You want a good marriage? Why do you want a good marriage? You want to be happy. You want to be with somebody that makes you feel good about yourself. That's happiness. So if you have an opportunity to be happy, don't let it go to waste. We've arrived here where my friend Roberto is. Having a beer with his friend. Let me just try call him. You can't expect government to fix things for you if you can't do your part. You must do your part. You must be a clean person. You must clean in front of your yard. You can't leave the yard dirty like this waiting for government to clean. I mean, government need to clean your butt as well. No, come on. How can you come pee outside? Pee on the wall. You leave a toilet inside the house, you pee on the wall. How, how's, uh, uh, I mean, come on. Go back in the bush. Mr. Roberto. Yo, what's up? After a quick chat with Roberto, he explained to me the reason why he was there. They were actually celebrating the one year anniversary of a brother that passed away. You know, as Africans, we respect each other in that sense. So I couldn't go without paying my respect. So I went inside to meet the other guys. All right. It's always a great feeling as you see, seeing my people and being with them, uh, spending time with them. It's just an amazing feeling. You know, when they show me the love, uh, the friendliness, uh, wherever we are in the world, we never alone. That's the Ubuntu, the African Ubuntu. It's, it's just amazing. So it's good to be with the community. They just played soccer. Now they are relaxing a little bit. And I joined them. I was invited and I'm very happy to be here. It was very sad, even though I never knew the man in person. It's always very sad to see an African brother pass away so young. One year, we lost our brother. Kana, we are here, we are not enjoying. One of my brother, he died. We never find out the, the truth, what is happening. Today we are lucky. One of our brother is fighting for Africa. That's why Zach he introduced Africa in the world wide. That's why we are proud to see him today. We are not here to enjoy, we are here, we lost one of our, our brother, Name. That's why it's one year today, Zach, God wish you a great name. Yeovil is one of the busiest places where, where you find the most 
African foreigners in Johannesburg, South Africa. So Roberto is taking me to a lady who is uh, Congolese. She is um, a cook. Okay, she's got a restaurant, like a very, you know, very, very African-like restaurant. She cooks Hiya, Congolese Hiya, Hiya, Hiya. food yeah. in South Africa. Look on. <laughs> I'm a super soccer player. <laughs> it's never been my thing, you know. Since I was a kid, I never liked soccer. Up until now, I don't like soccer. I don't watch soccer. I don't know who is who. I don't know who. Who is the coach of which team? I don't care. That's very true. I never liked soccer. I don't like it now. I never played it. I was a very bad player. They always put me outside. Don't talk to me about soccer. So Roberto came back to tell us that this Congolese restaurant he had made so much noise about was closed. So this dream we had about eating Congolese food was in fact just a dream. No Congolese food. In life, you don't always get what you want. In fact, life is not fair at all. Life is like a game of cards. They give you a hand. A hand is a number of cards that you're given to play a game. When you play a game of cards, you can only play with the card that you have. You can't complain about the card that you have. You have to win with the card that you have. So that's the same thing as life. And the card that you have in life is the family within you born the social situation around your people, the financial situation of your parents. Those are the cards that you live in. If you're born in poverty, you're born in an African country, sub-Saharan African country, a country torn with war, it's a, it's a card that they gave you. And you, ha you have to win the game of life with the cards that you have. You can't complain saying, my father had no money, my parents were destitute, we lived in a shack. To be honest, I was just being philosophical because I couldn't get that Congolese food I was expecting to get. In fact, I was pissed off that I couldn't get it. You know how life goes. You have to find what to soothe your situation. Roberto, tell me what do you like about South Africa? South Africa is a good country. It's a way different country. It's, you know, if such a good, life is good, everything is smooth. So it's a nice country to be. So how long? Have you been living in South Africa? I've been here 20 years now. You've been 20 years in South Africa? Yes. How has your experience been in this country? So my experience was not so bad. 20 you know. years is a lot of years. Yes, for the beginning it was not good. But uh, as the time goes on, you realize that, okay, you get out to know how the country is, you know, and there's nothing else we can do to complain to blame. Life goes on every way. Do you appreciate your life in South Africa? Yes, I do appreciate my life in South Africa. Are you happy that you can? Yes, I'm happy. Do you have any regrets coming to South Africa? No, I can't. I will never have it. Do you feel like you've grown in South Africa? Yes. This you... country taught me a lot. Even if you ask a kid, they will tell you, South Africa is one of the best countries in Africa. Two days before, I was given a call to go visit a house that was put on listing. A very beautiful house, very nice property. I love properties. I do believe that they are some of the best investments one can possibly do. Guys, from my experience, I believe it's better to buy a house that needs some work. Uh, most of the time, you get it at a very good price. That's the secret. As you're buying a house that's ready and neat, you're probably going to spend a lot of money on that. Your destination is on the right. Oh. Maybe it's that step. That's place. This way. Hello? Right, I'm good. How oh, okay. oh, fun is it? Yeah. Yeah. This is the garage. Okay. 
this is another dining room. It's a very interesting view. Some good decision to be made. Lovely house. Welcoming, bright, spacious. Um, my heart is beating. Uh, this is uh, could be a good addition to to life. Let's check it out. Let's just be sure. Let's see on the pool side. What's up? You know, houses are always a good business. House is always a good business. The house never rots. You know, never decays. If it decays, you can fix it. A car, you can't fix it. When the time is over, it's over. It's done, it's like cell phones every year, you get brand new ones. So, same story as cars. But a house, you can redo it, you can revamp. It's, um, it's actually the real bank. Because if you leave money in the bank, with time you lose your money. But if you buy property, you don't lose your money. So you gotta be smart. No uh, that's it. No, thank you. Thank, thank you for your work. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks. Thank you so much. Roberto. I know you're going to be back for more episodes. I look forward to seeing you again.